Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's morning prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaiteria Jones, your spiritual midwife, helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. Here at Kingdom Transformation, we are the bridge that connects identity, purpose, and destiny. Because when you know who you are, you can passionately pursue purpose. And when you passionately pursue purpose, you can occupy the place called destiny. Here at Kingdom Transformation, self-care is soul care. When you take care of the very depths of your soul, when you take care of your mind, your will, your emotions, your appetites, and your desires, you are able to see the plans and purposes of God for you come to pass. Third John 1 and 2 says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou would prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. The quality of your life is linked directly to the state of your soul. And so here at Kingdom Transformation, I help you work out the issues that are in your soul. And so I am so, so excited to be in this space with you on today as we are on day 18 in um, the book called Royalty. We have been uh, spending time in the book called Royalty, 30 Days to Discovering Your Royal Self. And as we have been in this process, we have seen uh, the connectivity uh, between uh, the different um, components of who we are um, impacting how we carry out our royal uh, responsibility in the earth realm. So if you are on Facebook, please share, share, share. If you are on Clubhouse, ping some people into the room, please, as we are going to enter in. Uh, to talking about royalty today but day one was all about the journey of royal discovery this is a journey and as we are on this journey it's important for us to be well equipped uh, for where the lord is going to take us and we do that by ensuring that we have the necessary information for the journey day two was all about our royal sight when you can see in the invisible realm, you can do what it is that your father is doing. Jesus put it this way, I only do what I see my father doing. Day three was all about royal vision. God has a vision that he wants to see carried out for your life. And now it's your time to grab hold of that vision. Day four was all about our royal natural eyes. What your eyes behold, you make a covenant with right? What your eyes are fixed and focused on, that is what you are covenanting, covet, uh, making a covenant with. And so day five was all about your royal eyes impacting your royal mind, how your royal sight center impacts your royal thought center. Day six was all about royal transformation, how we are only transformed by the renewing of our minds, um, no longer being conformed to the standards of this world. Day seven was all about the royal mind of Christ. As those who belong to Jesus Christ, we have access to his mind. And his mind is one of humility that we have the ability to tap into each and every day. Day eight was all about royal stability. We've been called into a place and a space where we are to be stable. Um, the word of God says that a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. When we are vacillating, going from opinion to opinion, we are lacking stability. But God has called us into a place where stability is our perpetual portion. Day nine was all about royal thought enforcement, bringing your thoughts into captivity, understanding that you do not allow thoughts to passively run through the corridors of your mind, but you examine every thought that enters in. Day 10 was all about how your royal mind impacts your royal emotions. So your royal thought center impacts your royal emotion center. Day 11 was all about your royal emotions, all about your royal emotions. See, our emotions aren't bad. We just have to make sure that we have possession of them and they don't have possession of us. 
Day 12 is all about how your royal emotions impact your royal sound. What you feel impacts what you release out of your mouth. Day 13 um, was all about royal sound. There's a frequency that you emit and there are people who have been assigned unto you that are drawn to the frequency that you release. Day 14 was all about royal speech, royal speech. And so the words that you speak, um, um, God holds you to them and you form your life with the words that you are releasing. Day 15 was all about royal speech integrity. Let our yeses be yes and our noes be noes. Are we trustworthy with the words that we say? Oftentimes we don't trust God because we do not trust ourselves when we are releasing words out. But he tells us that he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. So when he releases a word, when, when something goes forth out of the king of king's mouth, we know without a shadow of a doubt that it will Will always stand. Day 16 was about our royal decree. We are a people who can decree a thing and it shall be established. There are, are many things that have been established in our lives because of the decree that we have released, not knowing that it is only at our reversal that decrees can be abolished and acquitted. If we don't release a sound, things don't move. Day 17 uh, which was yesterday, was all about your royal speech impacting your royal attire. What you say garbs you. You wear what it is that you say. And today is day 18, and it's all about our royal priestly garments, our royal priestly garments. And so we are going to um, go through the lesson for today, we're going to read the prayer starter. Um, we're going to pray as the Lord leads. Day 18, Royal Priestly Garments, Leviticus 16.32. And the priest whom he shall anoint and whom he shall consecrate to minister in the priest's office in his father's stead shall make the atonement and shall put on the linen clothes, even the holy garments. God has called you a priest in the earth realm. You are a priest after the order of Melchizedek. Psalm 110 verse 4. Not after the Levitical priesthood. As a Christian, your high priest is Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 10. Therefore, you are to follow in his footsteps in the administration of the priest's office. Your priestly garments are indicative of your posture before God. When you minister as a royal priest, you want to ensure that you put on the garments that will allow you to draw near to the king. As a priest, servicing the king should be of the utmost importance to you. It is important that you are adorned well for the occasion. You want to be sure that you are cloaked in holiness, Colossians 3.12, and humility, 1 Peter 5.5, 5, before the king. God will allow you to draw near to him, and he will draw near to you when you are cloaked in these garments. God is attracted to this attire because he himself is holy and humble. When you minister before the throne of God, you must be sure to do it in a way that will draw the attention of God since this is a service for him and him alone. Today, you want to focus on how you can dress yourself in holiness and humility throughout the day, not just in your private prayer time. When you are clothed in your royal priestly garments all the time, you ensure that God's presence is always surrounding you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be a priest, to be priests in your kingdom. We know that this is not a role that we should take lightly. We admit that there have been times when we did not understand what it meant for us to be priests in your kingdom. Since we did not know what it meant, we did not operate in the position well. Lord, please show us what it means for us to be priests. Unlock the areas where we are still unaware of how to operate successfully in this role. 
We thank you that we can grow daily in you and the things of your kingdom. We thank you for every level that you have for us to develop in. Thank you, Lord, for your patience with us and for how you continually shape and mold us. Lord, we thank you that because you have begun a good work in us, you will see it through to completion. We thank you that we can bow before you and serve you the way that you take delight in being served. That we can minister before your throne in ways that are pleasing in your sight. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us to be your royal priests, to be a people who are called by your name, to be a people who you honor, oh God, for you are a God who honors us. You are a God who has shown us how we should live our lives in the earth realm by sending your son and your son giving his life. Oh God, that we will be able to model well after the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Lord, you aren't a God who just talks about it, but you are a God who demonstrates all things to us, oh God. Lord, we thank you just for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for your mighty hand. We thank you that your hand is not short or slack concerning your promises. But you, oh God, are long suffering to usward that none of us would perish, but that all of us would come to repentance and we would come to know you in the very pardon of our sins. Lord, we are beyond grateful that you have called us your own, that you have called us those who, um, who can follow you, those who can be loved by you, those who are accepted by you, oh God. And so we are asking in the name of Jesus that you show us what's hindering us from wearing our royal priestly garments. Lord, what is hindering us from being those of holiness, from being those of humility, oh God, from being those who are able to honor you through our service as your priests in the earth realm. Lord, as we enter in to our service before your throne, oh God, let us be mindful that we are to be adorned well, oh God. You don't want a people coming before you filled with sin because you are a God of holiness. You are a God of righteousness. And you sent forth your son that we would now be the your righteousness through Christ Jesus. We would now be a people who could draw nigh to you because we are people who have been cleansed by you. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. We are a people who can draw nigh to you because we are a people who have been cleansed by you. Thank you, Jesus. We are a people who have been sanctified by you we have um been imparted your holiness oh god we've been imparted your righteousness oh god we've been given the level of strength that we need because it comes straight from you oh god you are the god who equips us you are the god who builds us up you are the god who restores us you are the god who makes a way you are the god who calls us royalty we are your royal priests in the earth realm oh god we are a holy nation, a royal priesthood, those who are called by the name of Jesus Christ, those who are led by you, those whom you uh, desire just to be close to. And so today we are just beyond grateful to be next to you, oh God. Let's, uh, we just thank you, oh God. Let's just thank God for just being able to be close to him, that he really desires to be close to his people. He gave the very best that he had so we could be close to him. So that we could minister before his throne. So we could walk with him. So we could talk with him. So we could be bold. The word says we have, we can come boldly before the throne of grace. And find mercy in our time of need. We are a people who don't have to be separated anymore from the God that we serve because the veil was rent from top to bottom. The veil was torn so that we could be close. The veil was torn so that we could be forever married to the only one true wise and living God, never apart from him, but always um, dependent on him. Lord, we thank you in the master name of Jesus for just how you are cleansing us, for even how you are lightening our loads on this morning, oh God, for the weights that we have uh, bore up into 
this point that have caused us to be weak and weary. We say we bear them no more, oh God. We say as priests in the earth realm, we minister before you and we say the fire on our prayer altars will never burn out. That the effectual fervor and prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That we will continue to press in and to pray. We will continue to be a people who shake ourselves loose from the bondage and from the brokenness, from the barren places and spaces that have come to bind us, oh God. Lord, we are looking forward to being a people who you can count on, a people who you deem trustworthy, oh God, a people who you look to and are well pleased in, oh God, that we will be a people that you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over little. Now I make you ruler over much. Lord, we are asking that you anoint us afresh today, oh God, that just as we have been consecrated and set apart, anoint us with your spirit afresh today, oh God, that we would minister anew in the priest's office, oh God, after the order of Melchizedek, oh Oh God, Lord, that we would um, model ourselves after our high priest, Jesus Christ, oh God, that we would model ourselves after him. Anything that has come against us in our priestly order, oh Father God, let it catch fire and die in the name of Jesus. Anything that is looking to harass us and torment us and to tell us that we cannot walk in the office that you have called us forth to as your priests, oh Father God. Lord, we are even now mending them to the pits of hell oh god you've called us forth to this ministry to you oh father god and we don't take that lightly we don't take this service unto you lightly oh father god but we look to the hills from which cometh our help knowing that our help comes from you knowing oh father god that we can depend on you that we can count on you that we will not lean to our own understanding but in all of our ways we will acknowledge you so that you can direct our path lord we are asking for an outpouring of your spirit on this morning we are asking for you to break us out of prisons we are asking for you to open the doors that have been shut oh god we are asking for you to breathe new life into us so God, every area of our life where the bones have been dry, where the, the, the sacrifices, oh Father God, have been little, we are asking that you show us where we can sacrifice more to you, oh God. Show us where we can press in more because as priests, the priests were responsible for the sacrifices on the altar. It says that we are to give sacrifices of righteousness. We are to give sacrifices of holiness. We are to give sacrifices of praise. We are to open up our mouths and praise him um, in the high places. We are to... Um, bellow out of our belly the the thanksgiving that we have that we are filled with we are to be a people who are postured well before the king and so we thank you oh god that we are the people who are responsible for the sacrifices that come before you for every sacrifice that we give you we are asking that you be pleased with them that as we are adorned in our priestly garments oh father god let us minister unto you in the sacrifice of praise holy 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 oh god is the Lord our God. You are holy, O oh God, and you are righteous. You are magnificent, O oh God, and you are mighty. Lord, we thank you that you are the great I am, and aside from you, there is no other. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to speak to your heart, O oh Father God. We thank you for every time that you have spoken to our hearts, O oh God, for every time you have ministered unto our souls, O oh Father God. For every time you have mended what has been broken, oh God, and have called us into a place of health and healing, oh God, Lord, we thank you just for your love, for your grace, and for your mercy. Hallelujah. For you are amazing, oh God. And we just thank you on this morning. We give you the sacrifice of thanksgiving on this morning. We give you the sacrifice of thanksgiving on this morning. Lord, we thank you for being amazing. We thank you for being awesome. We thank you for being honorable, oh God. You are a God who is honorable. We thank you for modeling honor for us that we, your people, will be honorable on today day that as we walk in holiness honor will be at the forefront of what we do that we would honor you in all that we do oh father god we would honor you not just with our lips oh father god but with our hearts with the very states of our hearts oh god we don't want to be 
like the Pharisees and the Sadducees who are like um, sepulchers with dead men's bones in them, oh Father God, who look nice and pristine on the outside, oh Father God, but are full of wickedness on the inside. Lord, we want to be a people that when you see us externally, oh God, it is an indication of the purity and the, and the sanctity in our souls, oh God. Lord, we are asking you to cleanse us with hyssop, oh God. We are asking that as we minister in the office of the priest unto you, oh Father God, that our hearts would be cleansed, that our hearts would be purified. Lord, create in us a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit. Call us forth as those who belong to you, oh God. Call us forth as those who've been called to speak to you, oh God. Call us forth as those who can represent you well in the earth realm as your diplomatic agents in the earth realm, oh God, as those who belong to the kingdom of heaven, oh Father God. Lord, we are asking in the name of Jesus, just for you sanctifying us, just pour your oil on us on this morning, oh God. Your oil of gladness upon us, oh Father God. Your oil of gladness, oh Father God. Your oil of gladness, pour out your oil upon us. Anoint us afresh with your Holy Spirit, oh God. Fill us anew with your joy on this morning, oh God. Lord, we are pressing in and we are praying in accordance with your word, with the truth of who you are, oh Father God. Understanding that you are the God who sits on the globe of the earth and you, oh Father God, have never lost a battle. That everything that we are facing and everything that we are fighting, we give it over to you on this morning, oh God. And we enter in as priests, oh God. We enter in as priests and we bow, oh God. We bow before you because if we can bow before you, oh God, we can stand before man. Lord, we thank you for even ministering unto us in these moments, oh Father God, for even just the refreshing wind that is blowing on us, the purification and the sanctification. Lord, we thank you just for the truth of your word hitting us in a new way on this morning, hitting us in a fresh way on this morning, anointing us in ways that we have never been anointed before, oh God. Lord, we are asking for your wisdom to fall upon us, oh God. We are asking for your wisdom to fall upon us like never before, oh God, and consume up everything that does not look like you. Consume up everything that does not bring Bring you glory consume up everything that does not uh speak to the very depths of where you want to take us oh god for it is deep that calls unto deep oh god and we want your deep to call us into the deep places of you we want your deep to call us into um the locations of destiny that you have for us locate us oh god locate us oh god that we will be pulled higher in you, just as you pulled Ezekiel higher, oh God. We want to be pulled higher in you on this morning, oh God. We want to be pulled higher in you on this morning. We want to be positioned higher in you on this morning. We thank you for every yoke of bondage that we are being broken out of today. We break out of those spaces. We break out of those places, oh God. We call ourselves free, no longer hindered, no longer um, bound by the pain of our past and by the brokenness of sorrow, oh God. Heal us in the places of sorrow, O oh God. Heal us in the places of sorrow, O oh God. Our souls have been sorrowful, hindering our administration before you, O oh God. Give us a garment of praise for heaviness on this morning, O oh God. We need a, a, a new garment on this morning, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, O oh Father God, for the new garments that you are releasing unto your people, O oh God. We thank you just for the, the, the lightening of the load, O oh God. We thank you that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. That your yoke is easy and your burden is light. That your yoke is easy and your burden is light. And so we press into you on this morning, O oh God. And we just thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We thank you for every song of deliverance that you are singing over us on this morning. We thank you that eye has not seen and ear has not heard. Neither have entered into the hearts of men what you have in store for us. We thank you for how you are raising us up, oh God. Continue to raise us up. Continue to raise us up. For you have called us forth to be those who are planted in your house, oh God. That we would flourish in your courts, oh Father God. Lord, we thank you for the ability to flourish. We thank you for the ability to be filled. We thank you for the ability to be successful in you, oh God. Lord, we thank you for 
for the ability to rule and reign, oh God. Lord, we thank you that we have been called forth to be priests in your house, oh God. That you will establish us for generations as we minister even to those that we are connected to. As we minister in the priest's office, oh God, demonstrating what it means to be called by the name of Jesus Christ. Demonstrating what it means to walk in the name of our God because everybody walks in the name of their God. And on this morning, we walk boldly in the name of our God, oh Father. We are no longer fearful to say that we serve the only one true wise and living God. We're no longer fearful of what that means. We're not fearful of the implications or um, um, the mindsets that people will have towards us because we say we serve Jesus Christ but we are bold about our faith oh God because we are your priests oh father God and so we thank you in the name of Jesus we thank you in the name of Jesus for what you're doing in our hearts and in our minds for how you are separating us and sanctifying us on this morning oh God we thank you just for your peace for your joy and for your righteousness and we thank you for honoring us in jesus name amen give um me just a moment and we're going to get into our um what are they our declarations on this morning all right our declarations. Today is a day of victory. My vision is set on the heavenlies. And I will advance in accordance with the words that Jesus has declared over me. Today, my vision is clear. Today, my vision is accurate. Today, I walk in faith, full of the fire of God. Today, I partner with the angels that are assigned to my life. Today, I passionately pursue purpose. Today, I occupy the place called destiny. Today, I receive clarity concerning my current assignment. Today, the goodness and mercies of God overtake me. Today, my lips drip with honey as I declare the goodness of God to all that I see. Today, there is a shift in the atmosphere when I walk into the room. Today, I believe I am a glory carrier. Today, I believe that I am a difference maker. Today, I stand as a bloodline breaker. Today, I stand as the head and not the tail. Every obstacle in my life that is looking to get me to have the vision of someone that is the tale, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Today I stand 
as one who is above only and never beneath. Every obstacle in my life that is looking for me to be beneath only, catch fire and die in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I sing songs of deliverance over myself in unison with God singing over me. Today, I am loved by God and by myself. Every enemy of my soul that is looking to cause me to feel rejected and abandoned, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I am more than a conqueror and I cannot fail as long as I abide in the risen Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, I am led by Holy Spirit, staying in constant communication with my God. Today, I believe that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Today, I believe that the works of God's hands are marvelous in his sight. And since I am the works of God's hands, I am marvelous in his sight. Today, I believe that I am a finisher. I won't quit when things get tough. Every enemy looking to discourage me and cause me to quit Catch fire and die in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I value me because I am one of value. And as I value myself, I can value others. Today, I am free to serve Jesus with every ounce of who I am. Today, I agree with God, walking in the truth of his word, and my soul is well in God's presence. Today, I say no to the plot, plans, and schemes of fear looking to pervert my destiny. Today, I say no to the powers of hell, looking to get me to take back my yes from God. Today, I say no to disobedience and strife. I will not be contrary to the plans and ways of God. Today, I believe the word of God is quick and powerful, that it is sharper than any two-edged sword, 
that it pierces and divides my soul from my spirit as it is able to divide my joints from my marrows. Today, I believe that the word of God is a discerner of the intents of my heart. And since it knows the intent of my heart, I will speak to God concerning the state and condition of my heart. Today, I will not make excuses, but instead, I will seek God for every solution. Today, I will be a difference maker. Today, I will stand as a world changer. Today, I believe in the me that God created me to be. Today, I take responsibility for the life that God has excuse me, entrusted to me. <clears throat> Today, I stand as a victor overthrowing every altar of the victim, reclaiming every good thing that has been stolen from me. Today, I look destruction in its face and I say, in Jesus' mighty name, you will no longer have your way. Today, I look sabotage in its face and I say stand down in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I say to sabotage every area of my life that you are looking to destroy, I command repayment. Sevenfold plus your furniture in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I say to failure, you yourself have failed. I am, <coughs> excuse me, I am hidden in Christ Jesus. Therefore, failure is not my portion. Today, I say to failure, every seed that you have planted in my life that you are looking for a harvest from, catch fire and die. Angels on assignment unto me, drag failure back to its camp where it will be tormented for failing to complete its assignment. Today, I proclaim victory in every area that God has assigned to me. Today, I set my face like a flint before the only one true wise and living God. Today, I trust God. Today, I trust Jesus. Today, I trust Holy Spirit. Today, I am settled in my position as a king in the earth realm, believing that what I speak, I will see. That just as the worlds were framed by the word of God, so too, I am framing my world with my words. Today, I speak hope over every area of my life that appears hopeless. 
Today, I speak love over every area of my life that seems loveless. Today, I speak strength over every area of my life that seems strengthless. Today, I decide that I will not be moved. Today, I decide that my heart is fixed on God. Today, I decide that all is well and I reap the harvest that God has designed for me to reap because I have planted the way God has designed for me to plant in past seasons. Today I stand as a son or daughter of the King, knowing that all creation has been waiting for my manifestation. Therefore, my manifestation will not be delayed. I pray that this morning's prayer has blessed you um, and the declarations. And I am looking forward to praying with you and rejoicing with you. Facebook, if you're watching the replay or live and you have a prayer request or a praise report, send it to me. I want to rejoice with you. I want to pray with you. If you are on the clubhouse and you have a prayer request, go ahead and raise your hand or a praise report. Um, I do want to say tomorrow morning, I'll be back at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as we continue our 30 days of royal discovery. Um, if you are interested in getting uh, the declarations and you're on Facebook, you can go ahead and click the link in the description to the video. Um, it's um, the morning prayer resources link and you can get your copy of the declarations. They're called um, vision declarations. You can get those for yourself if you are interested in the ebook. You can get the uh, royalty 30 days to discovering the royal you. We have started our um, royal faith fast and we are on day two. So if you are interested, if you have um, been joining us, I pray, pray it's been a blessing. Um, and if you have not gotten your email, um, but you thought you signed up, just reach out to me um, and I can make sure we get that all taken care of as we meet on Zoom at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Leader Soul meets this Friday. We meet every first Friday. Leader Soul is the place where God turns our leadership into legacy. If you believe that God has called you as a leader um, to his people, if you believe um, that leadership is a gift that you carry and it's something that you want to cultivate from a biblical perspective, if you want that gifting to be purified and used for God's glory, then Leader Souls is the place for you. It is where we share shed the demonic models that we have grown used to and we put on the godly models that God has always desired for us to have and so if you are on Facebook you can click the link um, and join uh, my community uh, leader souls um, and then beautiful souls we met last week and that's where God turns our mess into a miracle it's a place where beauty um, we receive beauty for our ashes and so if you are interested in any of those memberships, Facebook, you can click the link in the description to the video. Clubhouse, you can go on my Instagram and sign up there. Listen, I'm beyond excited to have been in this space and place with you on this morning. Facebook, I'm going to head over to Clubhouse and see if there are any prayer requests, but I will see you soon. All right.